There was a book when I was little called The Coles Funny Picture Book, very weird Victorian, so all black and white and sort of kind of probably very politically incorrect. But there were always these little puzzles where things would be hidden in you know the branches of a tree and if you turned it upside down suddenly you'd see it. And I was always fascinated by that. So I've always liked the idea of hiding things, visual visual puzzles, ever since I was a kid. And books like The Waterhole in particular um, and uh, um, uh, what was that? What, um, I can't forget what that. The 11th hour. Oh, I'm getting old and stupid. Um, yeah, they, 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 yeah, I had a lot of this you know, hiding, hiding things uh, in, in the artwork. So it's just been natural for me to want to do that. But you've got to plan it carefully. Uh, and in the waterhole, all the, all the hidden things, they, they wasn't just, oh, oh, I'd be able to hide this there and there and there after the fact. They had to be very carefully engineered into the line work because I do all the work in black and white first just to get everything just exactly where it should be. Lots of separate little drawings, bringing them all together, deciding on, the, on exactly the shape. And those hidden animals in the waterhole are there at that stage. I have to know that I have to make that tree such that, you know, the kookaburra is big, will just fit there and, you know, the legs will, and the wings and so forth. It's just got to be carefully planned.